So when we're talking about Nintendo Switch 2, it's important to note that obviously we don't know anything 100% for sure, other than some things that are floating around out there. Uh, and those things that are floating around are, well, one, Nintendo saying that it's going to be uh, announced or have some sort of announcement for the system by the end of the current fiscal year. Oh, and by the way, uh, why not something like this? Liam Robertson coming out saying, seems a lot of developers got invited to Nintendo of America yesterday, yesterday being Monday the 16th. And you might go, well, Liam Robertson, you know, he's not a game developer himself. So, you know, maybe he doesn't know what he's talking about. And you know what? You probably would be correct to say that. I mean, yeah, he has connections and yeah, he works for some pretty big places like Did You Know Gaming. But here's the thing. Uh... <laughs> What if I were to tell you a developer already confirmed they were at Nintendo of America yesterday? What if I were to tell you that another game developer has just announced their game is coming to the Nintendo Switch successor? What if I were to tell you that the smoke is piling up so large at the moment for a Switch 2 reveal that it really does feel truly imminent this week? Now, again, it is my speculation that this means that it's imminent but it does sure seem to line up. So we got a number of things to go over today. If you guys are enjoying all the Nintendo Switch 2 content, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel. We're on our road to 150,000 subscribers. And you know what? You see all the ocean animals and all that stuff behind me? Look, I just, at one point in my life, I thought I was going to end up being a marine biologist. I have pretty deep interest in a lot of things in the ocean. Then I realized I don't actually like swimming in the ocean. All right, let's get into that proof I said that there was a developer at Nintendo of America yesterday comes from Josh Fairhurst, who is the CEO of Limited Run Games. He said, we had an awesome visit to Nintendo of America today. I am grateful that we had such great partners at Nintendo of America. And you can see that was posted last night. So there you go. We have direct evidence that Limited Run Games was at least there. And chances are that means that Liam Robertson and the other stuff he said it probably lines up that there probably was several other game developers and game studios at Nintendo of America yesterday. And the question obviously is, well, why would there be game developers at Nintendo of America? It doesn't really make any sense. You know, if this is just about uh, talking general business strategies and all this, that could be a Zoom call. You don't need to have people come in person. Why would people need to come in person? Well, the only thing I can think of is hardware. Now you might go, but Nate, I thought dev kits were given out back in July of 2023. Yeah, to Nintendo's biggest partners, Limited Run Games is not one of Nintendo's biggest partners. Indie developers are not Nintendo's biggest partners. They would not have allowed them to have dev kits this whole time because if they allowed indie developers to have dev kits, yeah, leaks happen, right? More leaks. We would have got pictures of the damn dev kits posted online. So in order for Nintendo to keep things under wraps, it makes a lot of sense to not reveal all this hardware stuff to indie developers. Well, until now. Because if you're about to reveal the system, who really cares about leaks anymore, right? Now, that's obviously just a theory, but there's some interesting stuff going on. We have Andy Robinson from Video Game Chronicle deciding, hey, I want to put out this tweet mentioning things about directs in September. Now, this might not be Switch 2 related. In fact, you can argue this is just stating a fact. Since the Switch launched, Nintendo has held a Nintendo Direct every September without fail, and usually around now, just saying. Now, again... It's just a statement of a fact, so probably doesn't mean anything. But then Christopher Dring responds. Christopher Dring from GameIndustry.biz, and he does the eye emoji. And then Andy Robinson responds to him and says, what could it mean? Now, they might just be teasing, they're hearing whispers, or it could just be absolutely nothing, and they're just messing around. After all, there was a journalist from, like, a Nintendo journalist from Australia that was messing with people this morning saying, hey, uh, you know, Nintendo news dropping tonight and then it didn't happen, right? No no big Nintendo news happened. He's, he's in Australia. And then he came, ha ha, what, this could have backfired on me if there was news that actually did, admitting he was trolling. But that's the thing. Andy Robinson and Christopher Dring don't participate in that kind of trolling. So it doesn't mean anything. Are they just speculating? I don't know. But you know what's not speculation? How about a game being announced for the Nintendo Switch 2 already. Well, let's head on over to Eurogamer for that. Switch 2 gets its first confirmed release in My Time at Porsche sequel. 
coming to Nintendo's yet to be announced platform. Skullhana says the next game from my time at Porsche Developer is a confirmed Switch 2 release. My time at Evershine will be the next game in the series from Studio Pathia Games. And it confirmed platforms, including future Nintendo platforms yet to be announced alongside PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X and S. So there you have it. We have another game. Well, really the first game confirmed as coming to the Nintendo Switch successor. And that confirmation coming today. Why would that confirmation come today? Could they have possibly met with Nintendo yesterday at Nintendo America? Maybe. But we're not done yet. Because how about a big AAA game coming to the Nintendo Switch successor? How about a franchise that Nintendo just doesn't even dream to get? We're, of course, talking about Battlefield. So Switch successor could receive Battlefield games. This is coming from an interview, but let's go into this. As we already know, the current Switch does not have any games from the Battlefield franchise, and I can't remember any Nintendo console that received any Battlefield games. It's probably about to change. Zampella, who's the executive director of Respawn Entertainment, is interested in the Switch successors targeting the Battlefield franchise, and Zampella also praises the relationship with Nintendo, but does not comment on something unannounced for now. Of course, the interesting part there is Respawn has never put anything on a Nintendo system. So what relationship? <laughs> uh, so this is a translation from uh, Brazilian Portuguese to English. And it says, in addition to emphasizing that the developer wants to return to basic approach to shooter, Zampella briefly commented on the recently announced PlayStation 5 Pro and particularly on how it has its eye on the successor to the Nintendo Switch. Here's what he said. I mean, since the Switch 2 hasn't been announced and doesn't exist, I can't comment on that. But I would definitely say that Nintendo, along with Microsoft and Sony, are great partners for us. They're important to us about our business at EA, at Respawn. We'd love to see that. We don't have anything to announce, but is there a possibility? Of course. We love them as partners. They have been great to us. I love Switch. Again, Respawn hasn't put a Battlefield game ever on a Nintendo platform. So how were they a great partner for you? How can they be a great partner for you when it's a platform you don't take advantage of? Well, could it be that they're really just trying to talk up the fact that they have a growing positive relationship with Nintendo because they're planning to put something on the next system? Again, he says he has nothing to announce. He says he can't comment on a platform that doesn't exist, which, again, you know, NDAs and all that, they literally can't say anything, but I do find this to be quite fascinating. I personally am just, I'm so excited, guys. Things just keep lining up. The, uh, there, there's so much damn smoke, it's hard for me not to feel, as a Nintendo fan, that the reveal is imminent, and I'm well aware. I'm well aware of what I'm doing at my channel, guys. I know I am seeking out confirmation bias. I know. I realize the Nintendo Switch 2 might not be revealed this week. It might not be revealed in October. It might not be revealed this year. I do understand that. I'm not oblivious to reality, but I will just note that I think it's okay to look for confirmation bias. I think because I think it's okay to be excited. Uh, the hopium, the copium, everything else is at an all-time high right now as a Nintendo fan. And I, I and on top of that, we get to play Echoes of Wisdom next week. So like. There's just good things happening all around. So is the Nintendo Switch 2 being revealed tomorrow or Thursday? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Do all these developers going to Nintendo of America actually mean that they were showing them hardware? I don't know. Maybe it was a key developer update. Maybe. Then again, they don't fly developers out to Nintendo of America all the time. Maybe it's something else entirely. Maybe it's a new accessory. Maybe it's just talking about future business plans and getting people signed up uh, for some new program they're running. I have no idea, right? I have no clue what's going on. All I can do is bring you the news and bring you my interpretation of said news. So in the end, you are free to make your own decisions. If you want to think the titles are clickbait, you want to think I'm clickbait, it's fine. I'm giving you my opinions on the news. You don't like it? It's cool, man. Go dig this stuff up for yourself. It ain't really that hard. I mean, if you just go to the Gaming Leaks and Rumors subreddit, you can get a lot of it. Not all of it, but you can get a lot of it there, right? So, 
in the end, we're just here to be excited for Nintendo, and hopefully this is the week. Hopefully, hopefully this is the week, baby. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and I've got to wait a little longer. Come on, Nintendo. Come on, baby. Give me what I want. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojans from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.